action. Okay. Hello, this is Kale, and welcome to the Kale Scale. This episode, The Predator, 2018. This movie is directed by Shane Black, who was in the original one, and was the most annoying character. Though, he does make a fine comedy movie that just so happens to have The Predator in it, though. Uh, the best part about this movie is uh, the cast of messed up veterans that our main character takes with them to go fight the Predator and get back his son. All of them are irrelevant cast-wise except for Keegan-Michael Key. It's always a pleasure to meet him. No, uh, Thomas Jane is the Tourette's guy. He was one of the Punishers. <laughs> yes, he was. Fun fact, they have a character that has Tourette's in this movie because Shane Black himself has Tourette's. That's the reason why he exists. Is that why he fun. hired his sex pest for his movie? <laughs> Uh, also, the same reasons because he is also a sex predator. Uh, so you've got to hire what you know. The predator looks pretty good in this movie, and then the ultimate predator, as stupid as he is, is pretty great. Is it better or worse than the alien predator? Like the movie? No, no, like <laughs> the whatever the alien predator. I don't remember what they called it. There was an alien that combined with the predator. Well, that sounds cool. So I'm going to assume Did this one was happen? worse. It happened in the sequel. I that's oh, yeah, there was a sequel, Alien cool. vs. Predator. Alien vs. Predator Requiem. <laughs> you got uh, the villain from uh, Logan as the main be as, as the hero this time, so that's cool. And his uh, father-son thing he does with the kid in the movie, Jacob Trimbley, I think is his name, is uh, really good. They kind of work well off each other. I mean, the action is pretty good in this movie, but I think my favorite part about this movie is how dumb it is, but it's kind of like intentionally dumb, and I kind of appreciate that. You know, I just forgot his name. Keegan-Michael Key? No, um... Hotel Artemis, this is a... Sterling oh, K. Brown. Sterling K. Brown. Is the villain in this movie with, like, absolutely no setup. He just arrives and is like, yeah, this is what I do. <laughs> He's just popping Mentos. Basically, what his idea was that the Predators are snatching people up from Earth and coming more often because Earth is about to just be completely ruined, for us at least. So, like, well, get them while they're hot. They're trying to get the best genes from us to fit into to cram into their ultimate predator. Uh, the, by the way, that kid, he murders a lot of people. I mean, not intentionally, intentionally, but like, for some reason, he goes to this house, he knocks on the door, they're having a party, and then some drunk or high guy throws a rock at him, which, without the predator mask he had on, he would have died. And then apparently predator masks work that if it gets touched by something, it just shoots a rocket. So the match just shoots a rocket into this house and kills who knows how many people were at that part. Overall, I think I'd give it a 6 out of 10. If you want to hear more from us, click the link in the description below and listen to our podcast, The Joe Show.